a 73 years old man present with pain in the right leg it is most uncomfortable on walking on examination he has deformity of the right femur with one x-ray there is thickened sclerotic serum alkaline phosphatase is elevated but calcium level within the normal limit what is the underlying causes here the options options are rickets passive disease metastasis lack cancer osteoclastoma and chondrosarcoma so what may be the option first of all let's see the passive disease the passive disease is a disease which increase and uncontrolled bone turnover so this is very important point that in case of the passive disease there is the turnover increase and which is uncontrolled and it is characterized by architectural abnormal bone that means architecture of the bone the formation of the mouth it is destroyed and it is thought to primarily disorder of the osteoclast excessive osteoclastic resorption followed by increased osteoblastic activity that means there is a huge huge osteoclastic activity that means the bone destructive capacity and followed by there is increased osteoblastic capacity that means the bone forming capacity so bone destruction capacity increase for this condition bone formation also increase and it finally leading to a sclerosis and deformity because there is an imbalance between the bone desorption and bone formation as there is imbalance between the bone formation and bone resorption so in this condition there is physical deformity develop that means the architecturally there is the deformity develop and passive disease it is common in uk and it is prevalence rate is about five percent but symptoms present only one in 20 patient so what are the clinical features the clinical feature will develop the bony pain it is very very important that it develops the bone pain usually pelvis lumbar spine and the femur because they are the most important bone and their turnover rate is very very high classical untreated fissures are bowing of the tibia and bruising of the skull that means the structural deformity is obvious in case of the passage disease and also there is a raised alkaline phosphatase so why there is a raised or alkaline phosphatase when there is the excessive activity or excessive formation in this condition there is the raised alkaline phosphatase in case of the bones what happens there is increased metabolic activity increased formation of the bone for this condition the alkaline phosphatase increase on the other hand the calcium and phosphate level are usually normal in the blood parameters and when there is a skull x-ray there is thick and bold osteoporosis and sar osteoporosis sarcomcrypta present and what are the indication of the treatment or the, what is the treatment option the treatment options are the bisphosphonate usually use and either oral Rice dronate or IV jolene dronate. Calcitonin is usually less commonly used because there is no calcium abnormality. Here, the only abnormality in formation of the bone. So, what are the complications develop? There is deafness when there is cranial nerve entrapment within the bony canal. Bone sarcoma also may develop. Fracture is common because there is architectural abnormality and the skull also thickening and high output cardiac failure so what is our option our option is the passive disease why passive disease because there is the on x-ray there is thickened and sclerotic alkaline phosphatase is increased which is the most important on the other hand the calcium is within the normal limit in case of rickets so what happens calcium and vitamin d decreases and metastatic in case of metastatic lung disease usually calcium level increases in case of osteoclastoma and chondrosarcoma their clinical features are different from this